Welcome back. We are here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, July 23rd, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you will hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button at the bottom of the CR News Studios, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we're starting looking at the S&P 500 and it's doing quite well today as well. We did fall early in the week down towards support here at the 15 moving average and then bounce. So there were signs that this was maybe going to completely fall apart, but still it's just doing the same thing that it has been doing for uh well, quite a while now, if you go way, way back, it is basically bouncing off the 50 moving average, 20 exponential moving average. And uh, at this current stage, it very looks, it basically looks like we're going to test uh, the 4,400 level. And uh, if that breaks, then we're going to test it 4,500. That is basically afterwards. Uh, pullbacks at this point, we'll most likely find support at the middle of the bullish band or the 50 moving average down here at 4,000. 250 that probably should be the lowest um basically lows of this market at this current stage if those break then we're probably going to talk about 4000 but there's nothing in the market that is uh, really um threatening this um everything that market throws uh, that is thrown at the market the market just pulls back a little bit and then rallies if there's inflation or treasury bonds us dollar appreciation and so on it is very resilient at this current stage. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is uh, still bearish, and the stochastic is bullish, and the RSI is bullish as well. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So Dow Jones as well pulled back towards the bottom of the bullish band and then rallied. So we are approaching the all-time highs yet again up here at uh, 35K. Break above that, then uh, 500 points to the upside. That is probably what we're going to witness. Uh, but still, we are in, still in the same range. So highs of being uh, 35K, low, very lows here at 33K. So we have been in this range since basically the start of May and probably all the way in, uh, to April. And we haven't really gotten above the 30, uh, 35K um, if, um, at this current stage and uh, probably... We're have to see whether or not we manage that uh, now. If we break down, then we can see that the 20 exponential is offering support. 50 will offer support, and so will the bottom of the bullish band and the very lows here of 33k, 33.7k, I should say. MACD is crossing the signal line uh, probably tomorrow, indicating bullish momentum. Stochastic is bullish. RSI is flat, and uh, yes, this was just a minor pullback, and we're just continuing going upwards. So let's look at the Nasdaq. So very similar here in Nasdaq. Looked like we we're going to fall apart, but still, this is just uh, rallying. Um, we are approaching the all-time highs here at this current stage, nearly at 15k. And um, as long as treasury bills are basically falling off cliff, this will continue going higher. Breaking above the 50, 50k, that will probably open the door to another uh, two to 500 points to the upside. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is still bearish. The stochastic is bullish and the RSI is bullish at this point. We're at 67 in the RSI. So we're approaching um, overbought con conditions. So we may see a pullback before going higher. Otherwise, we're probably going to bounce uh, we're probably going to rally significantly if we break the break above 15k 15k i should say so let's look at the german dax so german dax also found major support down here at the 15k roughly give or take and has rallied so it has not broken above the 50 moving average and that is kind of more a worrying sign if we get rejected here and get a red candlestick then we may go and retest these lows. And, and if those break, then we are probably going to look at the 200 moving average. However, break above the 50 moving average, then we are most likely going back towards this, um, uh, going to test the 16K. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is still bearish. Stochastic is bullish. RSI is flat at this current stage. So UK FTSE. So the FTSE, very similar. We had a nasty fall at the beginning of the week. I have recovered very, uh, really nicely. But uh, the question is whether or not that is due to these major overstretched uh, conditions here 
or whether or not markets are really rallying. Um, today was a fairly worrying sign as we approached that 20 exponential and got really rejected. So we may see this turnover, head back to the very lows, and probably if those break, 6,750 and the 200 moving average come into play. So that is kind of the sign that was worrying that a rally up towards, uh, up towards the 20 exponential will be rejected and then will fall even further. However, break above the 50, then we could probably go towards 7,200 again. Technical indicators, we can see the MACD is still bearish, the stochastic is bullish, and the RSI is bearish at this current stage. So let's look at the China 50. So China 50 still struggling at uh, 300 moving average, um, rallying up towards the 20 is also getting is massive resistant, and the 20, uh, 300 moving average is support. So at some point, um, 20 exponential is going to move this way, and the 300 is going to move this way. This will either break down or this will rally. Um, at this current stage, I do favor the downside, mainly due to the fact that we have a crossing here over the 50 moving average and the 200 moving average, which is basically a um, very bearish um, crossing for those uh, moving averages. We can see what happened last time we, they crossed it was back here, um, June, July last year, and then we had this massive rally. Since then, we have broken down, crossing. We could see this drop even further to the downside if the 300 moving average breaks. Then 16,000, uh, 15,500, and then 15,000 will most likely be tested. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is still bearish, the stochastic is becoming bearish again, and the RSI is flat, and we are 41, so there's a lot of room to the downside. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support your channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over Patreon. Good luck, and thank you very much.